Welcome at forexistrading.com. Let's do a little overview. Today is 16 September. So we are talking about Friday. It's just a few minutes before US markets closing. And right now we're looking at four hour chart S&P 500 contracts. A very interesting thing happened. Uh, we see here I just marked the very important support resistance. And the market showed us it tested it positively so uh, Friday is this kind of day that um, show us really what um, what investor really do think about some instrument if they want to keep long position for weekend or they're very afraid uh, of this instrument and, and want to close long position and maybe go even short so right now we see that the market were not really comfortable uh, below some levels of very important support resistance right here we did the fake break and market uh, was rushing to meet new highs and right now we are looking like the test is very positive and we might see uh, new support resistance testing and maybe new highs but uh, we have to think fundamentally where is this optimism coming from because right now uh, you see the big picture uh, looks like we've just received the uh, sell beautiful big sell signal and right now the market is struggling so I'm not saying we're gonna see some uh, plunging like the uh, next day like Monday or Tuesday but we have to be real careful because I was saying like many times in different analysis that this is a sell signal so right now market can be really changing positions from the long to the shorts and some people still buying but they might be just um, fooling the uh, pockets of the people uh, going short right now but we'll see what happened we'll st we still have a chance uh, to see some new heights in this comfortable area for example and then we'll see what happens but uh, really this optimism I'm not really sure where it's coming from because we see uh, the worse unemployment than expected we see sentiment worse than expected we have some fundamental data that are coming out worse and worse recently that should not be visible at the charts as um, uh, some kind of small or medium time rally so one of the options is uh, like I was saying in different analysis the other day that we might see some breakout and after that the, some buyers might be thinking like mm, I'm not sure if it's gonna grow and the market uh, can continue to fall but let's do not go so far with uh, different analysis and expectation let's see what market's going to show us if it's going to be strong we might be open long position if it's going to be weak i might be staying out of the market and wait what will going to happen currencies stopped out with those uh, plunging a little bit uh, we are looking at euro dollar that did some uh, major flag at four hour chart and this flag really didn't has an option to uh, come down rapidly I mean didn't seem to me like the flag that it's going to fall aggressively because some of them uh, are the patterns winning patterns uh, that show us at the market that it might be falling down again and this one was a little bit different it's it's too high uh, so market is growing uh, but I'm not sure if it's uh, just trying to reach to some comfortable zone like we can um, arrange a comfortable zone right here and test this point and go down again or we'll, we'll see what's going to happen right now I think investors investors aren't really exactly sure fundamentally where those currencies are going for uh, because the uh, sellout was uh, pretty much sure and aggressive and right now I guess the picture was that uh, euro dollar is oversold that's why we see this grow but um, it doesn't really show us that we change the trend to the growing one but when we see the zigzag right here when the markets continue to growing we see the zigzag pattern you see right here the pullback and going um, to break out to the upside again uh, that will be meaning that the market changed trend in medium term for some time looking at the gold picture at four hour chart 
I was saying also in different analysis that it might be looking for some consolidation in comfortable zone that maybe 1900 per ounce price was met too aggressively, too fast, this acceleration right here exactly and before uh, the price meet the um, wild price I would guess uh, at uh, $1,900 uh, per ounce and right now it's consolidating so some investors aren't sure that the prices of the gold will um, shoot out in the sky aggressively so some of them are selling or there is some um, uh, different distribution, distribution at this point uh, so we'll see if there are more sellers at this market or we're gonna see more buyers uh, like it happened before uh, so the interesting points are just below 1768 and 1900 of course per ounce those are two interesting points that uh, when we see those uh, meeting and those support resistance something interesting might be happening so uh, right now thank you for this and I hope you to see some more interesting video analysis and tra trade examples. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, have a great next week of trading.